Jaden Smith's parents, Will and Jada, opened up recently on their show, Red Table Talk, about how they were scared for their son's health. They had an intervention because he became vegan and they believed he wasn't getting enough protein, noticing him visibly wasting away. According to his mother, he looked drained. He was just depleted. He wasn't getting enough nutrients. Will Smith remembered the toll his son's eating habits took on his health, recalling how Jaden had dark circles under his eyes and even a little grayness to his skin. Jaden himself said, I was just eating like two meals a day, you know, and maybe one, he said. Maybe just that one big meal and I'm like, oh, you know, I didn't get around to it. This was the main focus of over 10 news articles, but the actual episode of the show was staged to camouflage the issue of the vegan diet very well. They barely mentioned the problems Jaden had as a vegan. Instead, this was more of a focus on Will Smith's dietary issues. It turned into a man shaming episode and this is what they want us to do in our own families. Discourage the male eating habits which tend to be focused on animal based foods, eggs, bacon, steaks, whatever it may be. This could be a media blitz to increase viewership of the show but it's pretty clear none of these writers actually watched the show, or if they did, the intentions are unclear. It's almost like reverse psychology. They clickbait you to watch the show, then you watch it and actually get sucked into eating more of a plant-based diet. An article from CBS gave a typical vegan response. Huh, duh. However, Smith's preference for vegetarian or vegan foods may not be the thing that made him waste away, as his parents described. The CDC also recommends average adult men should eat between 2,000 to 3,000 calories a day, a target Smith may not have reached if he was eating one to two meals a day, as he said. Vegans will always claim, oh, he didn't do the diet right. And that's what they said on this show, that it had nothing to do with the vegan diet, just that he wasn't getting enough protein and that he was skipping meals. These are the two most common things brought up when people fail on a vegan diet. Did you eat enough protein? Did you get enough food in general? Were you consuming enough calories? If the two most common solutions actually fixed a vegan diet, we wouldn't have so many people failing. It's all a gigantic circle jerk until someone ends up in the hospital or worse. What's even worse is that Jaden is not even vegan, saying he was vegetarian on the show. But hey, he does have something in common with vegans. He lies about not eating animal foods. An article from Men's Health. It's an old myth that going vegan will result in anemia or malnutrition, but you won't get sick if you take a healthy approach. In fact, new research published in the Journal of Nutrition indicates that vegans are overwhelmingly healthier than the meat-eating population with high levels of antioxidants which can help lower risk of diseases such as cancer. This is a straight up lie. If you look up any study comparing iron stores in vegetarians or vegans to the general population, levels are always lower in the plant-based group. Plant-based dieters also always have higher homocysteine levels, an indicator for B12 deficiencies. They can supplement all they want to make certain blood markers okay, but the plant-based forms of nutrients are not utilized properly. Later on the show, they had some nutritionists asking them questions, assessing their diet. As usual, it's some slightly above average looking woman in her 30s with some elitist condescending attitude. Strange how cookie cutter these dietitians and nutritionists are. There seems to be a very particular type of person that falls into the trap of modern conventional health wisdom. Then this woman goes on to plug Dr. Mark Hyman, 
who advocates for a vegan diet. To no surprise, they're really playing him up as well. Talking about his dozens of books, how prestigious he is treating celebrities and royalty, jerking off an old decrepit corpse of a vegan doctor. I'd like to give people the benefit of the doubt and assume they are more intelligent, but you would be surprised that even the most famous people, the elite of this world, don't seem to have a complete understanding of health, let alone optimal nutrition. You also have to consider that they have habits just like us, drinking alcohol, perhaps eating cake. Reality is, the only reason these famous people, these celebrities, are better off than standard American dieters is because they have personal trainers, they have private chefs, and the best doctors in the world. But hey, at least Jaden Smith launched a vegan food truck for the homeless. Now they can really go hungry. Thank you guys for joining me. If you could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, share the video if you can. Guys, please share the video. Really helps me out. It's the reason Frankie Boy doesn't sleep to come out with content every day for you guys. If you guys would like to support me further, definitely check out Frankie's Free Range Meat, high quality nutrient dense animal foods at an affordable price. We will have a 100% local beef box within a couple days. So definitely keep an eye out for that very limited quantity. You guys can also check out Frankie's Naturals, Minimal Ingredients, Minimally Processed Hygiene and Cosmetic Products. Thank you so much again for joining me guys and enjoy the rest of your day.